Doctor, I'd like to pivot to inequality. California, state with the biggest economy, and is one of, if not the most progressive states in our union, and yet it is also one of the most unequal. Can you talk a bit about the relationship between economics and public health, and if California's economic inequality played a role in the state's COVID outcomes? Well, I, I mean, certainly California, uh, uh, the, the economic inequality that we see in certain parts of our state create uh, living conditions that were not optimal for uh, protecting yourself against the virus. Crowded living conditions. Uh, I remember uh, early on in the pandemic concerned about issues around crowded living. The California is home to uh, it's either seven or eight of the most densely uh, crowded household zip codes in the nation. Um, what that means is that you have people uh, living in single room dwellings, uh, many people sharing small dwellings, and that that is not optimal for the spread of an aerosolized airborne illness like COVID is. So early on, we knew these conditions were going to really change the impact of the pandemic, and that's directly connected to um, economic inequalities and economic status. You look early on at who was infected, and we talked uh, in the first year of the pandemic, especially about, quote, essential workers, people who couldn't stay home during the pandemic, had to go to work, worked in some very high-risk settings, whether those were nursing homes or healthcare facilities or factories to keep our economy going. And that has, of course, direct impact or connection to uh, one's economic status. But uh, we also know that there's a deep uh, uh, cross between race and ethnicity. And uh, as we process data and information, not just here in California, but across the nation, we see a real impact on life expectancy, whether it's uh, Latinos in California losing over five years of life expectancy between 2019 and 2021. Uh, similarly, Blacks in California, three and a half years, uh, and, and Asians a full three years of life expectancy. So uh, that isn't just uh, an economic issue, we believe also is connected to those racial ethnic disparities that were uh, knowledgeable of, but have a lot of work to do to really ameliorate and improve. 